the gills. Take out the corresponding yarn. Wrap the yarn around your knitted finger. And then bring it up to index finger. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and mid finger. First, make snip knot in this way. Place the hook under the yarn. Twist the hook anti-clockwise to wrap the yarn. Pinch the crossover of the yarn. OK. Yarn over the hook. And pull through the loop on the hook. Pull the yarn tail to tighten the loop. A snip knot is made. Such a way shape is formed on the side. It's not counted into the number of stitches. Work 10 chain stitches first. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. Such a way shape stands for one chain stitch. Continue to work chain stitches. We need to finish 10 chain stitches in total. Ten V shapes on the side stand for ten chain stitches. Turn, skip the first chain stitch, and work one single crochet, one half double crochet, one double crochet, and the two chain stitch picots in the second chain stitch. We'll work through the left loops of the chains.
work once in crochet. Then work one half double crochet in the same stitch. Yarn over the hook. Insert hook into the same stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull up loop. There are three loops on the hook now. Yarn over the hook. And pull through all three loops on the hook. That's one half double crochet. Then work one double crochet in the same stitch. Yarn over the hook first. Insert hook into the same stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull up loop. Yarn over the hook and pull through the first loops and hook. Yarn over the hook again and pull through the remaining loops and hook. That's one double crochet. Double crochet. First, work 3 chain stitches. OK, turn over the fabric. We are going to work a double crochet. Yarn on the hook. Insert hook into the stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. There are three loops on the hook. Yarn on the hook. Pull through the first two loops on hook. There are two loops left on the hook now. Yarn on the hook. Pull through the remaining two loops on hook. That's a double crochet. Then work two chain picots. Work two chain stitches first. Two chain stitches are done. Turn the fabric. This is at the back bumps of the two chain stitches. Work one slip stitch through the back bump of the second chain. Two chain picots is done. Then work one double crochet, one half double crochet, and one single crochet in the next stitch. Work one double crochet first.
Work one half double crochet in the same stitch. Work one single crochet in the same stitch. In the next stitch, work one slip stitch. Once that is done, 